Pisces. Welcome to the Manifesting You YouTube channel. This is your Law of Attraction general tarot reading for the month of December 2016. I want to wish you a very Merry Christmas as well. Um, I have shuffled. There are no reversals in this deck and also you can check out your moon and your rising sign. That is also very helpful and insightful into your situation. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, Pisces, this first card here is going to represent your expectations and what your desire is for in the month of December. The second card is going to represent what you are valuing and identifying with. The third card is going to represent a possible distraction, illusion, or doubt. The fourth card is going to represent the strategy and plans to be made. The fourth, fifth card is going to represent the right attitude to have towards yourself and to others. And the last card is going to represent the realization or the outcome. Okay, Pisces, so what you are desiring in the month of December, we have the three of pentacles, which is represented by the commander. So this tells me that you are looking to to get some validation for what you've been doing. You've obviously been putting effort into something, whether this be a hobby, a business, a relationship, your own self-improvement. And you know, it's a three. So you're ready for some acknowledgement. You're ready for some validation. Also, it's like, you know, you feel that you've done some of the work here and you're ready for your achievements to start to be recognized and to pay off. And this is linked to an audience. I mean, you can see here that he is conducting, he is orchestrating, and he's surrounded by tons of people who are watching him. So I just feel that, you know, you're in some, you're involved in something possibly creative. It could be spiritual work. It could be volunteer work, charity work, but you are working on helping other people, Pisces, on making a difference and an influence. And you know, you're, you're expectant, you want that validation and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, the three here shows that it is beginning to manifest and this is what's important to you. You're building yourself up, you're building your own strength, your own talents, your own abilities, you're pursuing your path, your calling, your spiritual gifts, and you're growing in that direction. That's what's important to you right now. That's what you're focused on. This is a very positive card as well, Pisces, so I just wanna say that I feel that you're definitely moving in the right direction, but it is still in the beginning initial stages. So whatever this is, there's more work to do, but it's you're off to a great start and you're definitely going to be gaining acknowledgement, gaining validation from those around you. Okay, what you're valuing and identifying with, we have the Knight of Wands. So a lot of fire energy. So this tells me that you're ready to take action, Pisces. Like you're not just talking about it anymore. You're not just dreaming or thinking about it or fantasizing about it, but you're ready to change. You're ready to, to do something. And you are a mutable sign, which means that you're very adaptable and you can really mesh and blend with pretty much anyone that's in your surroundings and you do kind of blend in with your surroundings. But I just feel that, you know, you're feeling pretty confident in yourself. You are, you're looking for ways to make positive changes. Like you're ready. You're like, let's, let's, how, how can we do this? Like, let's do this now. Like there's an urgency to this. You're ready to make positive changes in your life. And this is kind of the universe affirming to you that in order to follow your dreams, in order to be the best person that you want to be, you're going to have to change. And, and you recognize that. And that's why I feel like you are accepting it, acknowledging it, and actually looking for ways to make positive change in your life. This could relate to a person. It could be like a person in your life, a relationship. It could be a place that you need to change. It could be a thing. Uh, so it's very broad, but this is about you taking quick and swift action and making changes. And it's also, this is a very broad energy. So 
people outside of your circle, people outside of your family, your friends, someone could come in to help you or assist you. You know, I just think that you're like, you're very universally minded right now. Like you're open to finding inspiration anywhere. It doesn't have to be just from your close knit circle, your hometown. This inspiration, this person could come from anywhere. Um, you're just, you're very open right now and you're ready. You're ready to go. You're ready to move and you're looking for this enthusiasm and this, this inspiration and this fire to propel you forward in your hopes and dreams. Oh. Possible distraction, illusion, or doubt. We have the good old eight of cups. If this is in the challenge position, <clears throat> there's still Pisces, something for some of you holding you back. And you know that in order to 100% move forward in your life, you know that you have to let go of something completely, like 100%, not not 80%, not 90%, but 100%. And I just feel that some of you are still struggling with that maybe last 10% because whatever this was that you were connected to, you were connected to it for such a long time. You love deep, you sacrifice, and once you give your heart that deeply, you feel so deeply, it's really tough to let go. I mean, because you love unconditionally, Pisces, and how do you shut that off? How do you shut off unconditional love? You know, it doesn't really shut off. And so the universe is kind of pushing you forward, but there's still something there that wants to pull you back, that wants to make you look back to something emotionally that you held on to or are still holding on to. And I know that you know that you need to let go, but we can know things rationally all day long. Your emotions are a different story. And sometimes, Pisces, I feel that you can't even, you feel that you can't even control them yourself. You're like, it is what it is. Like, I just emotionally feel what I feel. Um, it's like the ocean. It's deep. It's mysterious. It's unknown at times and you're asking me to control the ocean, okay? And it's like, I just can't, you know? It is what it is. So I just feel that, you know, the universe is, is being patient with you and it just takes time, but there is still a part of some of you here that's kind of lost at sea in these emotions and is holding on to something that really hasn't served you for quite a long time, but it, it really doesn't matter because it, it, this this person, this thing, this situation has is in your soul, and so disconnecting from that is is easier said than done, and is not something necessarily that you can do just quickly, easily, and even consciously. Um, it might take prayer, meditation, cleansing, time. It could just take the passage of time, but this is this is still an issue, and it is what it is. Like I don't really feel like there's anything to do about it. It's just for some of you, it is still present in your journey. And that kind of correlates to the strategies and plans to be made because we have the hanged man, the good old hanged man. Um, okay, so the hanged man represents doubts and it represents hesitations. It represents feeling uncertain. It also represents um, having to wait patiently and and it's talking again about questioning. You know, it, it's asking you to just look at your life and say, is there something I need to let go of? Is there a sacrifice I need to make to move forward? And being really honest with yourself and saying, do I need to let go of this person, place, or thing, even if it's a temporary letting go? Do I need to delay my, my satisfaction and my gratification? so that I can get something better. You're being, you're being challenged, Pisces, and I do feel that you're making growth. Like, there's no doubt about it. You're pushing yourself, you're expanding, you're like, I'm willing to change, I'm willing to be who I'm supposed to be, but, you know, this is, you're still walking that tightrope of one step forward, maybe one step back, two steps forward, one step back, and that's okay. Like. Don't judge yourself for that because that's just the journey sometimes. Sometimes it's just a straight shot, like you make the decision right away. Other times, you know, um, it's a process. This is a reminder that if, you know, you're obviously really pushing yourself, okay? Um, and so this is a reminder that if things do not seem to be manifesting as quickly as you had hoped, try to look beyond the temporary illusion of things and just stay focused on your original intention and desires 
because this is a walk of faith. You know, a lot of times we have to continually, persistently do the actions with faith and belief before we see the results. And it can take time. It can take days. It can take weeks, months, even years, depending on how big of a mountain you're climbing. And so you know that nothing good, important, or even enduring can be achieved without great sacrifice. So continually go in your direction that you feel led to go and do not doubt yourself. Do not doubt your power. Do not focus on the illusion and trust and let go and continue to walk your path. And here we go. The right attitude to have Pisces with yourself and others. You've gotten this card before and this is the Knight of Swords. It's like you have to fight. You have to fight for what you want. And you know, Pisces, you're so go with the flow and you know, you're, you're sacrificial, you're caring, you're loving, you're spiritual. And, and this is kind of an uncomfortable energy at times because yeah, maybe you could feel this way one day, but the universe is saying that no, you, you're gonna have to fight for this. You're going to have to really stand in your truth you're really going to have to use your mind, your thinking, your intellect, your thought processes, and you're going to have to move forward. He is very proactive. He's like in your face, um, but he's just prepared. This energy, he's prepared. He's not caught off guard and he's courageous. You know, you're going to have to have courage. This is not an easy feat. What you're doing, these changes that you're making, it takes bravery. It takes courage, determination. And what's interesting is you have two energies here. This is another page. And so this is another being quick, being very quick mentally. It could be um, something, an event happening. You have several events happening this month where you're going to have to adapt and respond and you want to respond appropriately because this knight actually responds. He sees things as they are. He doesn't blow things out of proportion and he responds quickly, swiftly, and with truth and clarity. And so that's what you're being called to do. You're gonna get a lot of inspiration and positive changes, and it's like respond to it quickly, adapt, think clearly, and, and be ready for the changes that it will bring. Um, so there's a, lot of, there's a lot of activity happening here for you, Pisces, and I think it's because you want it, you're desiring it, you're seeking it, you're pushing yourself to make positive changes, to make a bigger impact, to be a better person. And the realization or the outcome is we have, now we have another fire energy, we have the foreigner. So we have the page of wands. So this is what's gonna happen for you, more fire. And you're gonna start taking trips, Pisces, or you're gonna start connecting with other people from abroad, people that you have not known, new contacts, new opportunities. Feel that your, your, your energy is gonna pick up. Um, you're gonna be more active, more fearless, and more action-oriented. And I just think that like a lot you know, you're creating a lot of energy right now. So new messages coming in for you. This could be letters, telephone calls, but you know, people are going to get your attention and I also think you're gonna get other people's attention. So overall, Pisces, I just think that you are stirring a lot up. You're moving forward, you're growing. Of course, there's gonna be a process in that. Just stay adaptable, stay alert because the universe is working powerfully. So I really hope this reading has helped you. If it has, I would so appreciate for you to like and subscribe to the channel. That's going to make sure you get all the messages, the tips and tools on how to manifest and be your highest and best self. I hope you have a really blessed holiday season. Thank you, Pisces. I appreciate you and have a great rest of your day.